Hello, this is Elisha here and welcome to this video on lessons learned from Warren Buffett. I'm going to start with his two famous rules which say don't lose money, never lose money, that's the first one and the second one is don't forget rule number one. There's no way that you can make money if you're losing money. And then uh, the other lessons that I've learned are living within your means. Warren Buffett walks the walk and talks the talk. He doesn't spend much. He still stays at the home that he purchased 40 years ago. At one time, he bought a hail damaged car because it was cheaper. And uh, obviously, when you apply this in your own life, you have to adjust this to suit your goals and your ambitions. If you want to go far, then you have to be, you have to sacrifice more. Uh, then another lesson that I learned is partnering. Warren Buffett partnered with Charlie Manga and he has been with him for years. He also partners with the management of the companies that he invests in. So Warren Buffett doesn't take over companies as such. He, he invests in them solely for the purpose of um, income accumulation or wealth accumulation so he partners with management and uh, works with them to better his uh, invest investment portfolios his investment philosophy has taught me a little um, his investment philosophy has taught me quite a number of things um, and uh, one of the things is buy a stock that you're prepared to own for 10 years or more. So Warren Buffett says his favorite holding period is forever. Uh, he also looks for simple business models with good management. Sorry for the typo there. Um, and uh, this is really uh, something that has saved him from uh, the scams that have taken Wall Street. He also buys into businesses that are doing so well that uh, an idiot could run it because he says sooner or later one will. So he buys simple businesses with simple business models um, that any anyone can run. And this company seem to do very well for him. Other people do well with other um, business model types that they invest in but Warren Buffett chooses this and I have seen the logic behind it and um, I do the same with my investments also on investment philosophy uh, investment philosophy he buys exceptional companies at fair prices rather than fair companies at exceptional prices and this really goes to show that he wants to have a very high margin of safety on the stocks that he buys and then price is what you pay and value is what you get so go for companies with price that is below the value so um, this I uh, will say that value is what you get so uh, for a share um, value is really the capital gains or the rise in price plus the dividends discounted back to the present and uh, obviously price is what the stock market uh, quotes and this varies um, with market sentiment so prices can go up in a bull market and they can go down in a bear market one of the most important things that I've learned from Warren Buffett and value investing that he is known for is that Warren identifies the companies that are exceptional but he makes his move when the market dips so he identifies these exceptional companies and then he is patient until there is a market dip or um, what he describes as a sale that's uh, Benjamin Graham in the intelligent investor he says when the market goes down this is actually a sale so uh, it's a discount in share prices so that's when uh, he actually buys his stock <coughs> and then he also 
has taught me psychological fortitude, which um, is described in Benjamin Graham, which is his mentor. Um, it says that Mr. Market uh, gauges the feelings of Wall Street, which vary from two extremes, which are euphoria and pessimism. So he doesn't let the market movements influence the way that he um, he invests. Uh, but the market sentiment or the the market movement, they are just a an indicator uh, for him to actually buy. When the market goes low, he buys, and when the market goes low, he he's a contrarian. So uh, by nature, he buys when the market sells and sells when the market buys. And then there are some general lessons that I've learned from Warren Buffett and. Um, uh, is that always have a mentor. Warren Buffett had Benjamin Graham as a mentor and he used a gut feeling most of the times uh, in his purchases um, and then he also reinvests profits back into the business. He is paid a salary of a hundred thousand so if you check on most of the Fortune 500 CEOs they are paid millions of dollars but Warren Buffett is only paid a salary of a hundred thousand and he basically invests the rest into his company and that's why his company has grown for it he, ha he has done returns of uh, uh, compounded uh, yearly returns of uh, close to 20 percent every year um, ever since the start of Berkshire Hathaway he stays a long ways from Wall Street so is not pressurized into their traditions and a lot of people who uh, know the Wall Street traditions they they have uh, stock market analysts who are recommending the same stocks and they are buying the same shares and everyone is buying the same time and everyone sells at the same time so it's like a head mentality but Warren Buffett is detached from that he makes independent decisions which contributes to how successful he is in investing he reads a lot uh, his first wife actually said that he would always be up in his room reading mm. he's humble he accepts his mistakes for example uh, uh, when he made his mistake with um, the Tesco purchase he later on sold he acknowledged that he had made a mistake and uh, that's one thing I like about Warren Buffett. He is lavish with praise to his manager, so he always, uh, um, you know, gives them praise whenever they do well. He writes about them in his annual um, annual reports and gives them, you know, uh, mention when it's due. He associates with like-minded people, Bill Gates and other billionaires. Uh, this doesn't mean that we should uh, not associate with uh, poor people or people that are below us, but we uh, will gain more from spending time with people who are, who are uh, like-minded. Um, and there's a saying that goes, you're the average of the five people that you associate with. And then. He also says that uh, we should stick to what we know. He calls this a circle of competence. And Warren Buffett has been in his game for over 50 years now. So Warren is hard working. This is um, um, a very obvious fact. He still tap dances to work at, at the age of 80. He also gives about 4% of his wealth to charity every year through the Bill Gates Foundation and this is a very very important especially um, uh, as a person of faith I also give um, about 10% of my uh, income every every single year this is very important as well so for Christians and non-Christians alike so the conclusion is that most people uh, in the rich, uh, richest list are investors and Warren Buffett is um, is one of these people and he is one of the best investors of all times and um, I just personally learned from uh, from these people and um, uh, by learning from uh, from the best you actually improve your chances of success sorry for the typo there 
and you may not want to be a billionaire but these tips will help you uh, live a comfortable life so you might not even be a millionaire but um, you might use some of these tips to pay off your mortgage pay off your credit cards um, and just live um, a life of freedom which you know you can do your um, do your things in your own time have free time to spend your uh, spend your uh, kids and family so basically um, when you get the <clears throat> when you get understanding you empower yourself so this video was just a little bit to empower you give you some of the tips from uh, the successful people how they've done it uh, so if you've uh, enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe uh, follow me on Twitter that's my Twitter handle um, also on Instagram as Mot motive a uh, I'm also on snapchat as uh, Elisha Buffett so um, thank you very much and see you next time